good afternoon everybody welcome to the busy webinar session today we are taking the taking a topic of trade trade specific topic that is uh, putware industry busy for putware industry so today we are going to see about how to configure how to implement the busy software to the putware industry that we will see today and uh, first part of the webinar we have the ppt presentation so in that we can see lot of details about the specific segment and after that we will uh, take it up our uh, practical session then finally we will discuss question and answer if you if you have any queries or any uh, anything then we, we will discuss that question and q and a session and myself suraj i am a team busy i am part of team team busy uh, and uh, hope all of you are doing well so today uh, we will see the webinar session let's start the session and uh, the first of all what is footwear industry that all of you know that footwear is nothing but if anybody uh, having the uh, shoes slippers sneakers that kind of shops you all of you know that so if they are running that kind of business means that is called called as footwear industry so in general bc software you all of you know that it is an complete business accounting software so it will helps to manage your footwear shop also if you are doing the doing a uh, if you are if you are running a single store or multiple stores in multiple places then easily you can manage your business data using the busy software so our busy software anybody they can use if they are non it background operators or if they are non accounting background person they also easily manage our software it's a very user friendly software and uh, it's uh, efficiently helps to manage your day to day complex store operations nothing but building accounting inventory management stock management report viewing etc the software will help you help you to manage entire things and we have a robust technology that is point of sale system in our software it will helps to increase your sales purchase and stock management okay so in next slide we will see some of the benefits to using our software first point is fast billing so the main point here is we have the pos billing system here using the pos billing system you can manage your billing things very fastly and high end features we are having all types of reports you will get here so in terms of sales stocks purchase gst and entire business reports how whatever the reports you required in day to day transactions that all will be available in the software so complete erp solution we are having you can manage your business operations using this powerful erp solutions and uh, data security so all of you know that the data is very much very much important because the data will contains all your inform all your business informations so if any of the cases anybody they have try to misuse your data backup then that uh, our uh, feature our software will have the bind data facility so using this facility you can bind your data with the hard disk no one can restore your data backup as well as we have the busy agent utility in our system this utility will help you to take the backup automatically periodically in your google drive as well as local drive after that user activity control you can trace your users or you can call it as operators activity in terms of any settings if they changed or if they are deleted any of the entries in your data that time 
easily you can track your users activity by using our user activity control utility as well as we have the very less price software this uh, price is a very uh, worth for you because in in this price you are getting lot of features in our software so you can call it as a value for the money or, or, or else you can it's a worth for your business if you are hired any of the employees in your shop then uh, normally you are paying the salary up to more than 10000 15000 like that correct but you are putting one software the software will manage entire things and you can only manage the operator or the owner only manage the entire things by self with the help of this software no need to take any other extra manpower okay so these are the benefits we having the we having with our busy software in our next slide let's see what are the features we have it the first point here is attribute wise talk we having the very important feature here that is parameterized feature so with the help of parameterized feature you can maintain the stock of an item with the different attributes or you can call it as parameters okay these attributes are the additional characteristics that can be defined by the that can be defined for an item this is a additional characteristics for example all of you know that shirt shirt is an item correct in this item the shirt having different parameters or attributes that is size color brand etc so this is this is called it as parameters or attributes okay you can make the you can make sale or purchase entries on the basis of these parameter values or you can view the reports on the basis of these parameters okay so this feature is very much helpful to our textile as well as footwear industries okay so this is the first point come to the second point that is pos with barcode pos nothing but point of sale billing especially this feature is made by our retailers retailers why they are using means if they having the barcode scanner easily they can scan the barcode value of that product then automatically all the information will be loaded in your software screen and you can make the billing very fast so this is why that's why the pos utility will help him out help you out also we have the barcode printing facility if you have if you are purchasing any of the unbranded item in your shop then that time you have to stick the barcode by self correct so we have the barcode printing facility in our software using this utility you can stick the barcode on your product also you can scan the barcode while doing the sales transaction clear date wise pricing facility means this feature is there sometime what happened uh, today the price was 200 rupees tomorrow you want to make the changes of changes changes for the price is 250 rupees day after tomorrow it's a 230 rupees depend upon the demand market demand and depend upon the customer requirement you want to change the product prices by yourself then you have the option called date wise pricing using this feature you can make the changes in your product prices we have the bulk utility so in this utility you can set the product prices on the basis of date clear next point is item quantity wise price or discount you can give, you can specify the discount or you can specify the price of the product on the basis quantity how much the customer has been purchased or bought on that basis you can decide the price or discount of the product that facility we have scheme management it's very much uh, useful feature nowadays 
so if any of the festival season will be there or any of the any of the weekend season will be there then you all of you seen somewhere in market areas they are putting the very much big banner or board like that if you purchase 5000 rupees value product then you will get 500 rupees voucher buy one get one or uh, if, you, if you purchase 1000 rupees shoes then you will get 100 rupees slipper free like that many of the offers promotional offers uh, uh, you can fix using this scheme management module various type of scheme management party wise scheme management item wise particular date wise okay buy one get one so so many type of scheme management formulas you can you can fix by yourself okay next is dashboard so dashboard is nothing but it's one type of screen appears in front of you or in front of the operators or any users of the busy software this dashboard will contains the company information that is how much cash collected today today how much credit sale has been done how much uh, sales has been done so how much uh, parties outstanding will be there so this kind of information you will configure you can configure by using this dashboard option this dashboard this dashboard will appear while operating the software okay no need to uh, go for the reporting mode just uh, this dashboard will appear in front of your display the next point is configurable billing so you can configure the invoice things everything in your as per your requirement we have the customization things in our busy using this you can add your company logo bank information you can add or remove the required columns you can put the bank details you can add the digital signatures etc okay after that physical stock verification this is a very useful feature because sometime what happened in your shop stock will be very stock variation will be it may be occurred sometimes the software it is showing the stock of 10 numbers but in your go down you are having only the eight quantity then two quantity will be mismatched so in that time we are using the physical stock verification utility to match our go down stock to software stock that's why this utility or this entry will help us salesman wise sales tracking so you can track your salesman in uh, target or you can track your salesman commissions using our salesman module easily you can get the report here okay mobile app or data weaving we have the two mobile apps in our in our side uh, one mobile app that uh, almost all of you uh, know that mobile app this is a very uh, this is a old mobile application but recently we are launching launched one more mobile application it's a cloud mobile app so in that mobile app you can view entire reports in your mobile itself whether it is a day book ledger book outstanding sales purchase registers payment register everything almost all kind of report you will get into your mobile phone okay so it will helps to manage your business flow very smooth and uh, very uh, it, it will helps to uh, your business flow in a smooth way okay next is whatsapp bns sms and email so apart from these to engaging with your customers or uh, to share the any of the promotional related messages to you know, uh, to, for your clients you can use the whatsapp utility or business notification service mobile app or short messaging service sms or email sending feature with the software we have all of the features here so as per your requirement you can share the things by using this utilities triggers and alarms facility will be there triggers and alarms it will give the warning alert for the operator for the various type of scenarios for example if they don't have the stock in our software 
in their software that that time they will get the alert message or we have the minimum level warning message maximum level warning message reorder reorder quantity warning message negative cash warning message if some supplier they don't have the gst number that time they will get the warning message credit limit accident matlab then they will get the warning message so these these are the few of the example about the warning or triggers that facility here available and in especially gst report all of the business entity business entities they required the gst reports to upload the gstr1 gstr3b on the regular monthly basis or quarterly basis so busy we have the all kind of gst reports report gst reports here if you want you can upload the gstr1 gstr3b to the software directly we have the direct uploading provision here okay and uh, mis reports and analysis this will gives you the entire information about your profitability cash flow fund flow etc various type of profitability reports you can able to see that is bill wise profit party wise profit item wise profit go down wise profit salesman wise profit so almost all type of profitability report you can see in this mis report report section so these are the features we are readily available with the software apart from this if anything is required you can have that option but you just enable that option from your end that's it but these are the few uh, features this is very very much useful for our footwear segment so next slide of the ppt we will see what are the implementation steps we have to do from our end the first thing we have to do that company creation in the company creation time you can specify your company name alias name print name address phone number mobile uh, email id gst number type of dealership regular or uh, regular or composition etc then you can create a company so after creation of company you can start the configuration steps normally the configuration steps you have to configure the parameterized configuration by yourself parameter configuration is nothing but i already told that if you are dealing with footwear products then what are the attributes required you can decide first yourself so example you require the brand size color okay these are the three attributes required for your product then you can specify the attributes name in the parameter settings window barcode feature if you required you can enable that generate barcode and save the configuration after that you can enable the pos configuration window to do the fastest billing or fast billing by yourself and after enable the pos configuration window if you want you can enable the settlement window also settlement window means after end of the bill the customer have to pay the amount right so that amount will be different mode of payment whether it is a upi cash credit debit card payment etc so based on the amount they have paid you have to specify the payment modes in your software data that's why the settlement window will help you to enter the things so that's why this settlement window you can enable after doing the settlement window configuration if you want to configure the whatsapp feature you can enable bns if you want you can enable or email if you want to send you can enable the email also so completion of the this 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 all are after completion of this then you can come to the master entry mode that is a data entry step in the data entry you have to create the customer master supplier master item master so these are the very basic masters you should create by yourself then you should start the transaction first 
the flow is purchase entry after did the purchase entry you can do the sales in while purchasing the stock after select the item name then you will get secondary window to assign the parameters or attributes name based on the parameters or based on the attributes you can receive the stock that is enter the purchase then you can sell the product these are the transaction step so next point is printing so after finishing your transaction entry that is a sale entry you have to give the invoice to the customer that's why you need to print the invoice in invoice copy if you want to customize anything by yourself we have the option to customize option we can use the utility finally we have to check the reports stock report we have to check attribute wise stock report we have to check sales report we have to check purchase report gst report etc so these are the very few basic implementation we have here so while doing the practical session we will discuss one by one so here you can see the screenshot of the master creation window in this window we need to enable the parameter details feature you can see the arrow mark of the screenshot you have to enable the parameter detail feature first otherwise the attributes or parameter feature it's not work for the product transaction entry window will be like this the first screenshot will be above the uh, above we have given one screenshot that screenshot you can see the purchase entry of the parameterized product here we have fixed the parameters of size color and style based on your your requirement you can change the attribute names and below we have one more screenshot in this in that screenshot you can see the while uh, while sale your while sold your product the secondary window you have the adjustment option otherwise if you are using the pos mode then we have the barcode scanning provision also you can scan the product barcode automatically the whole things will be comes into your transaction screen after that you can sell the product this is the transaction related information so next you can see the invoice printout this is the invoice printout if you want want to add the images of the product then it should be printed on to you printed into your invoice copy apart from this we have a lot of customization things based on our requirement you can customize okay next is report the main report we need here is size wise color wise brand wise stock report sometime we need mrp wise also that report is available with busy bcny stock barcode number wise stock report mis report sales analysis report sales analysis report you will get the graphical view how much sales has been done item wise graphical view party wise graphical view date wise graphical view so almost all type of graphical view will be uh, get by this sales analysis report report under uh, in this section inventory summary summary report we have here inventory books you will get the inventory register that is sales register purchase register sales return register purchase return register etc even we will get the stock summary report also account books report account registers report we will get we have the final results trial balance pnl balance sheet etc gst reports also we have here gstr1 gstr2 gstr3b gstr6 itc04 gstr9 report we have here almost all kind of reports we have with busy okay so let's start the practical session come to the busy software i already created one new company by myself the name is busy for footwear industries after creation of the company if you want to configure the attributes then you should go to administration configuration feature and option 
here inventory in this inventory tab you can click on this parameter details option after click on, clicking on this option you will get configure button beside on that just click on that then here you specify the number of parameters you require so let me specify three parameters so then again you click uh, click on this configure button here you should specify the parameter one name for example i am dealing the cutware product so that's why i need the first parameter brand name okay so generally what happened before introducing this feature so the footwear industries operators they are struggling to enter their data because they have almost 10000 of product so they, they they need a lot of time to finish the data entry because individual item they have to create but now the parameter feature it will helps to reduce their data entry time and also it will gives the proper and accurate stock summary report based on their requirement he will get the stock summary report also so that's why we require the parameter feature next i specify the parameter 1 brand and i specify the parameter 2 that is style and parameter 3 it is color i can specify color okay after that we have the character limitation also if you want more character then you can specify maximum 20 characters for the parameters but that much is not required but we have the provision here next there is two type of entry type will be there one is open entry type another is predefined entry type open is nothing but you have to type the parameter names by manually but predefined will helps you to drop down the list okay it will automatically drop down in your in front of you that is predefined values so let me enter or let me create some of few of the predefined values here for example ramraj it's a brand of parameter and another is reebok next is sparks next eaglewood these are these all are the brands okay khadims okay i created few of the names here same way i can create few of the styles what is style so generally it may be casual shoes or sports shoes formal shoes next is slippers or uh, loafers so these are few of the styles here same way you can create create the color also so navy blue white black here we have the alias name specification field also if you want you can use that green so this this is the way you can create the color after specify these things then you can click on okay button you can come back to your previous uh, previous page here you can see that we are having lot of options first thing is drop down option if you want want to drop down the list of parameters you can enable y here you can enable the option otherwise you can keep this no next is pick parameter through drop down this is adjustment this is a adjustment drop down list this is the drop down list you want both then you can enable both next we have the alert i told that alert alert or trigger i can told uh, i explained you uh, previously it means if you don't have the stock balances in your uh, software then it won't allow you to the billing so if you want to block the things then you can click the don't allow if you want uh, the software will uh, software wants to allow you then you can select allow so these are the trigger settings 
we have here okay so generally you make this don't allow only because after uh, while viewing your stock report then you will get uh, trouble in terms of value stock value okay next is you want to manage different prices uh, different mrp different sale prices for each and every parameter product then you can enable the setting here you can enable this then you, we have the separate parameter discount field markup field also we have maintain sale price maintain mrp so maintain mrp both you want both you can enable next is generate barcode con barcode number i told that the branded item of the product uh, the company already picks the barcode values they can sold the product but unbranded item the sell the manufacturer cannot fix the barcode number they directly sold the product once you purchase the product the footwear shop person or the footwear shop uh, shop uh, they have to punch the barcode number the barcode generation facility or feature it's available with busy you can enable the feature here we have two types of generation automatic and manual automatic generation is nothing but the number is uh, in, uh, taking by automatically that's for example 001002003 like that but manual numbering is nothing but you have to specify the number manually but it's very difficult to manage the industry that's why we are suggesting the automatic generation of barcode only if you are using the automatic then in future if you want to change it to manual it's possible but if you are using manual barcode you cannot able to switch to automatic okay next thing is if you want to add the prefix prefix is nothing but the first three letters of your company you want to make the prefix you want to add the prefix before the barcode number you can add here okay i am giving the prefix prefix called footwear p double o p double o i am giving okay and the number of characters you have to specify here minimum character that is five character maximum it's your requirement you can specify here if the quantity of the bar uh, that is uh, if you have larger quantities in your godown then you should you should select the alpha numeric numeric you don't uh, you won't want uh, you never select you can select the alpha numeric if you have minimum quantities product that is a minimum stock of the minimum stocks in your godown then you are select the numeric okay after that we have the unique barcode generation also so unique barcode generation nothing but same parameter product if you have purchased uh, example 10 numbers then all the 10 10 numbers you will the barcode numbers will be generated uh, in different numbers for the different numbers so if you want to generate different barcode numbers for the same parameter range product you can use the unique barcode generation allow duplicate barcode number if you want then you can enable this otherwise no deletion after adjustment of the barcode numbers you don't want to uh, delete the parameter or barcode numbers then you can make here don't allow barcode number image also you can specify or you can tag with the product just you have to specify the barcode image folder let me select the folder name here that is image image is my folder name so if you kept the product image in this folder path then software will pick the particular images into the software data okay and we have the multiple mrp option also you want to keep the same mrp uh, different mrp for the same barcode number then you can enable here same and uh, different mrp for the same barcode number then you can use this option so after doing this all configuration save the things come back to the previous page this is your previous this primary uh, page then you can start the data entry here 
all of you know that in busy we have the direct ledger creation facility just you can press the f4 button in this place that is a account name creation place you can specify the gst number of the party let me search some of the gst number so hope this is my gst number i can copy the things you can paste here just click the validate gst number option so busy will automatically give the information about the gst number here you can see entire things okay next you can click this update back and quit button the whole information it will get pasted by the busy software fields the address field you can see so everything will be perfect and uh, gst number it will comes country it comes fan number everything it will comes what you have to do you have to specify the email id mobile number whatsapp number if you have otherwise you can uh, leave the things okay so this is the ledger creation you can create your parties ledger supplier ledgers etc by using this method after did the ledger creation you come to the that is a item creation step item creation i already created few of the items here you can see chappals formal shoes loafers sandal shoes shoes etc here what we have to do so normally the item creation will be similar for all types of industry but one thing what we have to do is you have to enable the parameterized detail feature here if you are not enabled the thing then different parameter wise stock management it's not work for this product as well as you have to enable the maintain bgn also barcode number okay so now i already created the created few of the items let me do the bulk updation here we have the bulk updation utility we go that and uh, select the multiple item creation and modification in this screen i can select the field parameter wise stock you can add here and remove and all of other things so then you can modify the existing master load the master select all the product it will be comes over here here you can make all of this was y okay because i am not enabled the parameter wise stock feature for no any product so let me do this y after doing this y you can save the configurations or save the data save the data here you can specify the unit name also pieces then you can save the thing now all the product the parameter feature was got enabled you can go to the modify mode select any of the product you can see here same way we, we need the barcode number also we need barcode number then same way you can go to the bulk updation multiple item creation modify existing master here you can select the field bcn maintain bcn add here and load the master show the list select all okay just copy these things and paste here copy paste is also work in this particular screen next you can save the data now parameter will be enabled and barcode number also enabled both will be enabled okay after completion of this transaction that is a master uh, master configuration or master entry you come to the pos configuration i said that before that i said pos configuration you require to do the fast billing correct that feature is available under that administration menu configuration menu feature and option below on that voucher series configuration you can select the main voucher series then you can come to this particular screen here we uh, have a lot of features first thing you can see that is separate billing address so generally what happened retail footwear shops the customer they don't have any gst number 
they directly visit your shop and they can purchase the per product after that they can pay the amount in that scenario you you are making the b2c invoices but you you require the customer data in future suppose you have any of the promotional offers that time you required their mobile number so that's why we have the separate billing shipping details window to capture the customer mobile number in your transaction you can use the facility here it will ask the customer mobile number that is a bit especially this facility is used for the retail industry to capture the customer mobile number and we also have the zero validation settings if sometime fast billing time you, you, you are not enter any of the amount you can specify zero means busy will give you the warning or we have the filtering method sales entry time you will get the customer name only purchase entry mode you will get custom supplier name only so that kind of filtering is available okay and uh, you don't want the transporter details window you can disable here auto round off if you want you can enable here auto round off means the invoice value it goes to point above 5, point 0.50 paisa then it should be considered as 1 rupees if it is below 50 paisa then it will be treated as zero okay so in this way the automatic round off calculation is available in with busy also we have the different type of printing facility once you saved your invoice busy will ask you to print your invoice voucher apart from invoice voucher we have the print item barcode utility or send sms and sms option send email option send a notification option etc based on your requirement you can choose your appropriate settings here i said that pos that pos window you have to configure under the configure pos option here okay let me save the configuration so now the pos configuration it's uh, you can once again you can close the company and uh, i'm selecting the model enterprise here because the pos mode window it's uh, not comes for the basic edition so that's why i changed my model name also and parameter feature also it's worked for the standard and enterprise edition not a basic edition let me select the sale voucher here and uh, can configure here i on that okay one second so the pos is not visible here so that time what you have to do you just come to the feature and option pos here you can enable the advanced pos data entry save the configuration go back to voucher series configuration then select the voucher series here you can get the yes or no option here before that it was not there so after doing the pos enable then you will get this option just enable this then click on this configure advanced pos option this kind of screen will appear here we have the three type of fields first is fixed field if you have fixed the field then you cannot able to change any of the data suppose if you are fixed the date field the back date entry and the next date entry not able to do okay it was fixed field suppose if you are selected variable field in your uh, pos window then what happened the cursor will focused into that particular field if you want to change the field or any of the data then you can do from yourself no issue but each and every time the cursor will focusing on that particular field it's a increasing your billing speed Ma means it will it was taking uh, to save the bill more time that's why we have the same semi variable field semi variable field is nothing but the cursor can't focus on the particular field but if you want you can use the mouse or else you can use the escape button to focus on that particular date or particular field so let me show you so i am selecting the fixed here okay 
and the cell type shall i uh, i can select variable okay so this is the variable field and the party name i can select uh, semi variable okay let me save the configuration after you after you come back to the your transaction sales entry window here you can see the cursor is focusing directly into sales type why because i have specified variable field here next after after press the enter button it is comes into item field directly because cash field is semi variable this one is semi variable semi variable is variable means if i want i can change myself otherwise cursor will cannot focus on the particular field if you if i want then only i can able to change same way you can see the fixed field this is a fixed field it was indicated in red red color i cannot able to change the date here correct so this type of configuration we have in our pos window so based on your requirement you can fix the same now what i have to do i have to change the setting here semi variable only i can change myself if i i can uh, change this party name is variable because party name selection is very much important for all type of retail industry so and apart from that i can specify all will be semi variable okay then we have the barcode enable feature here you can enable here to use the barcode facility next settlement window i told that settlement window so you can enable here then you press the configure button so how many settlements you required you can select here by clicking on the particular options and assign the ledgers for the cash account you can specify cash or debit card and credit card you can specify the bank ledger names that is your current account names assume that the current account will be sbi account then you can specify the current account sbi account ledger here check also you can specify the sbi account and you want to change any caption name you can change here for example here you can see left side all will be credit 1 credit 2 credit 3 like that so that is difficult to over uh, view your uh, reports end of the day that's why i can change the caption in credit card 2 as a upi and the credit card 3 as a debit card i can make this as a debit card okay so then you can save the configurations if you want to uh, increase the width of the screen or you can set the grid width etc we have the separate setting for that using this setting you can set the grid width transaction grid width actually so then you can save the configuration come to the primary page so after that we will go for the purchase entry now i don't have any stock in my balance correct in busy we don't have any stock let let me enter one purchase voucher here this is my purchase voucher the purchase number 1 let me select one sale type that is item wise or i can select igst and the party name is busy infotech private limited then you can select the item name how much quantity you have purchased and insert the brand name brand name is uh, for example sparks style will be uh, sports color is black 1250 mrp 1000 is the sale price quantity will be 10 or else 5 and uh, purchase price is 800 rupees the barcode number it should be generating automatically and again you can select sparks here you can specify the type sports then you can specify the color size color that is uh, then uh, you can specify the color this, different color that is a blue color or white color then mrp is 1500 here the sale price is 1400 quantity 5 purchase price is 900 so then come back to the previous page here you can add another product formal shoes then you can select the style brand mrp quantity 5 purchase price amount okay 
if you want to fix the image of the product then you can specify the barcode number this f00e uh, this one number you have to specify here in this folder for example this is your shoes correct f o o e so now you can see the our software will automatically automatically fix the selected that image you can see here or else i can copy this particular f o o e double zero double zero three so now it is not working f o o zero zero three okay it is three actually i'm put an in, inserted here one let me change the name here go back and uh, see here the software will consider the image here it will pick the image directly in this way you can insert the particular product image also so this will helps you to uh, analyze the product design product pattern in future with the busy data so after doing the purchase entry here if you want you can add some more product that is sandal shoes style mrp here one more facility will be there i told that if you are using automatic barcode generation we have the provision to convert it by manual also that's why you should click on this enable manual mode then what happened then automatic barcode generation it will it will uh, converted into manual generation suppose this particular product is belongs to the branded item then you can uh, specify the branded item barcode here this is the barcode got it then specify the shoes name that particular brand name and uh, style color here you can specify the mrp sale price quantity purchase price then click on ok button that's it okay in this way you can you, uh, do the automatic barcode generation as well as manual barcode generation barcode also after completion of this purchase if you want to see the parameterized stock report you should come to the display menu under this we have the parameter wise stock report we have parameter wise closing stock report opening stock stock report aging report etc let me tell let me check closing stock report balance only here you can see we have the chappal total number of 10 that brand is sparks style is sports color is black the purchase price sale price quantity everything will be displayed over here same way we have the formal shoes standard shoes socks etc clear so in this way you can able to view the parameterized stock report let me go to the sales entry now assume that some customer <clears throat> moving customer has been visited in your shop they don't don't have any uh, gst number you, can, you, can, you should ask the mobile number for uh, that customer because in future if you required any of the uh, details that for, for, for that party so our software will give you the information about the sales so in this way you can specify the mobile number party name address if you want you can specify then do the sales here we have the barcode reading option you can directly scan the barcode value the product will be fixed by the uh, picked by the software so i just search the barcode value here if you can see this is a barcode value now i don't have any scanner manually i'm searching here So if the don't have the, the software don't have the data, then you'll receive that kind of message. So you can see, okay, formal shoes, it will comes. So in this way, you can do the billing. Fastest billing will be happened in this POS window. After completion of bill, the customer they have to pay 6495 rupees 
if they given 5000 rupees cash and remaining will be credit card then you should specify like this or remaining will be upi payment then you should specify in this field then close the transaction end the transaction after completion of the transaction it will ask to print the invoice copy if you want a5 copy you can select half page if you want a4 copy then you can select standard design in the standard design it's a a4 design you should specify yes in this particular setting because the parameterized detail if it is no then the printing you will not get the information about the attributes that's why we have the settings here save the settings you can view the invoice copy you can see here the rebox sport shoe white color that barcode number everything will be printed on into your invoice if you want to add the images of the product we have the provision for that we have the field for that you can add the field in this particular invoice customization uh, utility then it will be printed into invoice okay hope all of you clear about the printing next the busy is asking you to send the email you want to send the email to the party you can click yes here automatically the mail will goes to the party next sms you want to send click yes here the sms message will be goes into their mobile number notification we have the separate busy notification mobile app that's a free for basic edition standard edition as well as enterprise edition uh, if any uh, customers they are using the mobile application bns mobile application then they'll receive the sales message in their mobile sales notification in their mobile okay apart from this we have the whatsapp configuration also that you have to configure here that is a sms api configuration it's a free configuration there is no any extra add on required you can uh, configure the whatsapp configuration you can send the messages to your clients okay next i said that we have the backup configuration so while closing your company the manual backup you have to take by yourself otherwise you have separate agent utility that agent busy agent utility will takes the backup automatically on the particular regular interval of time that is a three times per day the backup will be goes into your google drive as well as your local drive no need to worry about your backup things that will automatically done by software clear so next i'll go for the reporting side so we have the very much powerful reports under the display menu the first thing is parameter wise reports in this report you can able to check the attribute wise closing stock report whether it is the balanced only report or you can you want detailed report means you can see the detailed report also for the particular date range wise that report will be like this so you want to export the things then you can use the export utility we have the google sheet connectivity here so using this google google sheet connectivity you can view the you can view any of the report in your mobile also so in your mobile also you can view the report so that's why what you have to do you have to enable the connectivity with google drive option here in the general tab then specify the mail id of the operators or owner then authorize the mail id busy will redirects redirects the uh, re re redirected it into the browser if the browser browser will have already will have the logged in Uh, gmail uh, logged in gmail account then you can just give the permission of that you can just give the permission here then it will give the, the, the then the permission or access is granted you will receive the message like this come back to the busy here you just load the report and export the report then select the google sheet it will open in your google sheet directly okay you can see here so this is the report you will get after that we have the excel option pdf option csv option etc you can export any of the ways next we have the parameterized opening stock report also 
next parameterized aging report for one item group of item all item selected item we have here so the parameterized aging report will be like this brand wise size, style wise color wise mrp wise 0 to 30 days how many stock is uh, available 31 to 60 aging how much is available 61 to 90 how much is available so this kind of aging report you will get here next on account parameter entries sometime while making while put, uh, entering your transactions if you are forgot to enter any of the parameter values then that entries that mismatch entries it will be show here okay so uh, i said that the if you are entering any of the sales entry for example so this is your sales or purchase whatever it is here in this window if you are uh, if you are not inserted any values or if you are not specified any values then it should be mismatch correct so that mismatch entries it will be shows in in this on account parameter entries report apart from this we have the parameterized critical level minimum level maximum level reorder level reports barcode number wise closing stock report we have you can see the barcode number wise closing stock report in this way okay the barcode number and parameter values both it will be comes into the same report opening stock we have aging also we have and parameterized stock ledger as well as we have you can see the stock ledger report like this brand which brand you want you can type the brand name here style name here color here mrp then you can search the stock ledger report so apart from this we have the gst reports mis reports profitability report etc using these reports you can analyze your business profits and you can uh, uh, plan your plans accordingly so one more thing the sales analysis report here you can view the sales analysis report on the date range wise voucher wise etc so the sales analysis report will be like this okay monthly basis also you can view or else you can view the graphical uh, graphic or graphical this way this way uh, graphically you can view the sales analysis or purchase analysis report item wise also you can view like this okay hope all of you clear about the reporting side there is this various type of report it's available and the next thing that is the mobile application i told you the mobile application feature you want you can uh, download the mobile application from google uh, uh, play store then you can configure the bdep id here you can configure the bdep id then you can enable the mobile app feature okay after you enable the mobile app then you can create one cloud user here after enable the mobile app you can uh, create one cloud user then you can sync the data by uh, bulk updation utility so then you can able to view your entire report within your mobile application so in detail video about the mobile app config configuration it's uh, available in our youtube channel you just go through that so that you will get the information about that okay so this is the putware shop implementation apart from this if any of the feature you required in future then just go to the configuration feature and option here you can enable the things okay so you want to insert the background image then you can add the image using this display settings general settings means you will get the general configuration here second language support mobile application audit trial etc accounting settings anything you want you can do here so hope all of you clear about the today's subject so in case if you have any queries further queries just ask into question and answer session that is uh, i received few of the question here can we also maintain size wise stock along with attributes yeah definitely sir you can use you can do let us say we have an article number one with 12 phase of different sizes and we want to know what current stock is available in what sizes yes sir i uh, i get your point 
So same uh, scenario you can do with busy. So there is no issue. That's why we, uh, we have to configure the parameters. That is the attributes you have to configure. So I hope uh, this query, you just once call to your, our customer care number, our expert will guide you the same, sir. Definitely it's possible, okay? Does the image name has to be same as BCN? Yes, sir. The image name has the has to be same on same uh, as BCN number. Correct, sir. How do we enter sizes? The size entry will be two types, sir. One is open type, another is free defined types. If you are using open type, then you can put into manually. Manually, you have to specify. Uh, if it is a free defined means, you can create by yourself. Already, you create yourself yourself. So next transaction, you need not to create once again because the drop down will comes in front of you. Okay. What format image is required? So uh, the image required is JPEG format, sir. There is no any fixed pixel size or any anything. You have to use the JPEG format. How do we configure mail, WhatsApp, SMS? Sir, actually due to the limitation of time, I'm not cover the mail whatsapp sms configuration i'm not able to show this feature uh, by practically that's why we have the separate uh, video that's uh, already uh, we did the some of the webinar based on this subject we go through the youtube channel sir uh, in busy accounting software youtube channel you will get the particular video topic sir okay again you are facing the problem or any other help you required you just call to us we will guide you. How do we configure? Okay. How do we configure BNS? So the BNS is also you can able to configure, sir. Just go through the YouTube channel. There you will get the video how to configure BNS. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, all of you. That is... Uh, next webinar that is a uh, five o'clock will be there if anybody you want to join in our hindi hindi language the same topic will be available you can join the session so apart from this if you have any further queries you just kindly contact our customer care number 828282 8282 uh, again you are uh, not uh, getting the solution by us you just write a mail to us support at the rate busy dot in okay thank you all of you have a nice day. See you once again. Bye-bye.